All right, well, today we saw mostly sunny conditions early, but then a few more clouds did work their way in throughout the evening. Maybe a few light flurries, but not expecting a lot as we go into the evening hours as a lot of this will push out of here without actually reaching the ground. And uh, temperatures will be cool yet again as we're expecting lows to drop off in the teens. But by tomorrow, a milder air mass will be back in place. Let's take a look at our current conditions. We are at 23 degrees, so nowhere near warm here across the UP. South southwest winds at 15 miles per hour, but that south wind will continue to uh, bring in that milder air mass from the south. But uh, currently we are seeing a real field temperature at 7. And uh, temperatures are not only cool here in Marquette, but across the entire UP and northern Wisconsin. Uh, 23 here for us in Marquette. And again, off to uh, the west, 23 degrees in Ontonagon. At 25 in Ironwood, lower 20s in Florence and in Menominee, both at 22 degrees. And well off to the east, more of the middle 20s, 24 in Munising, 25 in Escanaba. And for us here in Ishpeme, we are at 23 degrees. But winds coming in from the south, that has brought in some of that moisture in the clouds that we are seeing right now. But uh, that will push out of here very quickly. Currently at 14 in Houghton, 12 in Marquette, while at 12 in Munising. And even as we head closer to uh, tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, should start to see more of a northwesterly component to our wind again before uh, seeing, uh, well, right now temperatures are in the 20s across the entire state, 24 in Gaylord, 20, 30 degrees in Traverse City, and more of the 20s back here into the UP. But as I was saying, we'll see more of that northwesterly flow by tomorrow night, which could lead to cooler conditions. And Wind chills will yet again be in the teens like we're seeing right now. 10 degrees in Iron Mountain, 10 also in Marquette, while at 15 in Escanaba. For our headlines, cloudy and chilly as we start off uh, the day on tomorrow. But as we go into the afternoon, temperatures uh, will be a little mild for us. And we'll also see a few breaks in the clouds as we head into the evening hours. But uh, cooler and sunny heading into the weekend. It looks like Saturday will be the coolest day for us before Sunday begins to heat up yet again in front of our next system. Uh, that will be bringing us another chance of light snow heading into Monday. But this is our setup. Cooler air to the north and that milder air mass starting to build off to our west. And uh, we'll see that that will start to work its way into the region as the, another system will push off just to our south. And we'll take a look at that here on our future cast model. A lot of clouds throughout the overnight. That moisture, it does push through here, but I'm not expecting a lot out of that at all. Uh, more clouds as we start off the day, but then really starting to break apart as we head into the evening and seeing more of that sun heading closer to Saturday. We'll be at 19 for our overnight low tonight. And actually, temperatures will continue to rise as we head past midnight as this southerly flow really starts to bring in that milder air. Winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour for us on Friday. Mostly cloudy with a few peaks of sunshine as we head into the evening. Southwest winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. But look at highs back in the 30s at 32 in Launce just above the freezing mark in Crystal Falls, Florence, and in Iron Mountain, all at 33, while at 36 degrees in Munising. And your seven-day forecast will be right at that freezing mark here in Marquette on Friday before a slightly cooler as we head into the weekend. We'll see 24 by Saturday, 28 on Sunday, and then noticing that snow move in with our next disturbance next Monday and Tuesday.